What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today, we are doing something a little bit different. I'm sure anyone who's clicked on this video has already seen the, uh, the thumbnail and the description. So uh, instead of breaking any boxes today or doing like a mail day or anything like that, we're gonna go ahead and show off some of uh, my favorite insert sets that I've completed over the years, going through all different types of products, all different types of years, values, some from really high end to really low end, kind of gonna kind of go through everything. Um, and uh, I got some big binders to go through, so I hope this looks okay on camera, um, but we're gonna go for it and we'll see how it turns out. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that bell for notifications to make sure you're notified whenever we post new stuff. Um, I don't know where we are in terms of subscribers right now. For all I know, we could be at 5,000, but uh, recording this in advance. So in the event that we're already at 5,000, we'll be doing the 5,000 subscriber giveaway video um, probably next week or the week after. Um, but in any case, if we do hit that 5,000 or if, we, if we've already hit it, that uh, a giveaway video is going to be coming soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. You don't want to make sure uh, you want to make sure you don't miss out on that. So uh, let's go ahead and start with... Um, the most, the most low end set I think uh, I have in here. And that's gonna be from, I think this is 90, 91 hoops, art cards, team checklist. So super cheap insert set, but I'm a big fan of art cards. Um, I'm sure these are like a dime a dozen. You got Dominique, Larry Bird, Rex Chapman, just really cool artwork in a lot of these cards. There's the MJ, uh, Mark Price, man, all kinds of, was that Ronaldo? Yeah, Rolando Blackman. And on the back, it has, it actually tells you the uh, who illustrated it too. Um, and if you look at the back, some of these you can tell look pretty similar in terms of the type of art. Um, and if you look at the back, there are a few that have the same artist. Uh, Chris Mullen, Hakeem the Dream, Reggie Miller with that late 80s, early 90s haircut. <laughs> Who is that? Danny Manning, Magic. I like how they kind of wrote Magic on that one. That's a pretty cool one. Is that Ronnie Cycli? Alvin Robertson, I think. Make sure I get all these, yeah. Pooh Richardson. <laughs> Brad Darty. Ewing. Who is that? Is that Nick Anderson? Yeah, Nick Anderson. He got Barkley back when he was still on the Sixers. Kevin Johnson on the Suns. Clyde the Glide. So you can see the Clyde the Glide, is, it looks really similar to the the magic, we go back and look at the magic. I'm willing to bet that these probably have uh, the same artist on these two. Yeah, same guy did both of these. So I kind of like how they, you know, they had a couple different artists uh, re redo, um, or not redo, but, you know, do a couple of the, of the cards. Uh, Mitch Richmond is that, I think, yeah. Oh no, Wayman Tisdale, oh wow. Got that one wrong, Wayman Tisdale. Uh, the Admiral. Xavier McDaniel, wow, Sonics didn't really have anybody on the team. Oh, they had Sean Kemp. I guess he was kind of rookie, though. They're not going to put a rookie on one of these. Carl Malone, and finishing it up with, is that Bernard King? Yeah, Bernard King. All right, so that's the first kind of uh, cheaper set. Now we hit the binders, and then we got some more stuff at the end, too. So I hope this looks okay on camera. These binders are kind of big. We got a lot of stuff in here. 2016-17 Crusade. This is one of the first insert sets I put together as I was collecting, you know, got back into it in like 2018, 2019. Um, it's a hundred card set. And you can see that at the beginning of the set, they put like LeBron, uh, Curry, Durant, Harden, Anthony Davis, some of the better players, or at least back in 2016, some of the top names uh, in the league. I'm not going to go through every single one of these cards, obviously, but I'll just flip my way through. Um, I actually, what I did was I opened a box of this 2016 Excalibur that had Crusade as an insert set. And I said, if I can pull one of the better players uh, from the set, then I'm going to go ahead and put the whole set together. And when I opened the box, I pulled about three or four of these. And one of the ones that I pulled was, let's see, where is he? Kobe Bryant. So I, I pulled this Kobe out of the box that I opened. And I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just put the rest of the set to together. So they had active players. Then they also had some retired guys, like there's Pete Maravich, Wilt Chamberlain, uh, more retired guys over here. I always laugh when I see uh, George Mikan in a set, because I feel like they always use that, you would use that same black and white photograph. And then they also had some rookies too. So we got Ben Simmons up there, Brandon Ingram, Malcolm, Malcolm Brogdon, Buddy Heal, Jalen Brown, uh, Jamal Murray. And then on the last page all by himself, 
Uh, poor old Yogi Ferrell, couldn't fit him on the other page. <laughs> Next one uh, that I put together is uh, from 1920 Contenders Optic, Historic Slams. Uh, all awesome photography, um, shiny cards from Contenders Optic, all from slam dunk contest. So we got Zach Levine, Vince Carter at the top, Aaron Gordon, got Dwight Howard with his Superman dunk, Jason Richardson, Spud Webb, uh, D. Brown, Dominique, uh, Sean Kemp. So all kinds of cool players in this set. And I think I, did I skip a page? No, I didn't. This is a shorter set, I guess. Uh, we got Blake Griffin with the, I don't know why they showed him. They should have had him jumping over the Kia. Maybe they couldn't put the, the Kia in the <laughs> in the card or something. Tracy McGrady, Iguodala, Isaiah Ryder, Terrence Ross, John Wall, Paul George. There's another Zach Levine. Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon actually had two cards each in this set. There's another Aaron Gordon and Donovan Mitchell at the end. And speaking of slams, here we go. We got the full... Uh, the, this is the very first set uh, slam that they slam set that they did, did in hoops, and this is all um, hollows as well. I actually put the set together originally with the base versions, but once prices started dropping, I was like, you know what, I might as well go for the hollow set. So the AI is definitely one of my favorite cards in this set for sure. Such an iconic photo with that old school jersey and the big afro. Uh, LeBron, Luca, Curry, white chocolate, Jason Williams, Shaq, Ice Tray. So many cool cards in this set. I hope they keep running this set in hoops every year. I'll put it together every single time. Zion and Ja down there on the bottom. And on the last page, we got Kobe and T-Mac. And then I don't really, I think I put this hoop tribute set together because I really wanted this Zion uh, card with this picture on it. This is the same photo they used for his one in one rookie, which is a super expensive, very hard to find, you know, card. But um, I, this is kind of the poor man's version. So I ended up putting this full set together. This is, this is the first year that they made these tribute cards, short prints and hoops. Uh, going back, this is from 2020, 21. But if you look at like 18, 19, 19, 20, there are tribute cards in those hoop sets, um, but they're very common. These ones were hobby exclusive and they did the same thing uh, in the most recent set of hoops, 21, 22. They kept them short prints, made them hobby exclusive. And there's the rest of the set right there. We got a nice photo on Ja too. There's some old guys, uh, or you know, retired guys, Bill Russell, um, Iverson, Malone, KD. Uh, and then this is the only set I think that fit all on one page. It's a, it's a nine card set. This is from Clearly Donruss. Um, so I wanted to put together, I really like these um, retro rated rookie cards. And they did this for anyone um, that, when they didn't have a Clearly Donruss product, which what didn't start until, uh, 2019 20 they went back through all the other years of Don Russ and made a clear version of their base Don Russ card Paul George and Bede got the Joker in the top right corner Booker Ben Simmons Donovan Mitchell Tatum Trey and Luca also got uh, I don't, don't really know why I put this set together <laughs> to be honest I kind of like that it was a Team USA set these were pretty cheap they're nice and shiny basically everything in this whole binder is shiny I think except for this page on Clearly Donruss is like the only non-shiny one. Uh, but we got a bunch of, uh, these were from 2020, 21 Prism. Um, I think, again, I think I probably pulled a couple when I was opening packs and said, you know what, it's only a 10 car set. Might as well put the whole thing together. And this one is one of my favorites. Spellbound from 2020, 21. Um, we got Zion, we got LaMelo. Uh, I kind of wish I put the 2019, 20 set together as well. Um, cause those were, I think a little bit more short printed. Um, but unfortunately I didn't put it together when the set came out and now they're kind of expensive uh, and, and harder to find, but I'm glad I put the 2020, 21 set together, uh, right when this product came out. Cause even these have gotten a lot more expensive and, and harder to find Zion LaMelo James for LeBron. We got Luca at the L U K the A is on the other page. We also got Trey, we got Curry Edwards. Job. We got the J over here and then the A up here, <laughs> the shortest one in the set. And Obi Tom, I'm sure surprised Obi Tom made that set. I'm not sure how they decided to put, put him in there. Next one, we got 2020 21 Prism uh, Flashback Silvers. These were really expensive when they came out. I spent a lot of money on a lot of these. I remember like the LeBron was like, I don't know, the LeBron and the Luca, I probably spent like 150 maybe around 150 on these when they, or maybe around a hundred, but I think you can find all these a lot cheaper now. 
Uh, they're not that expensive. Jaw, Zion, Tatum. Then on the other page, we got the rest of the set. Curry, Lillard, Kyrie, Trey, Westbrook, and Giannis. More shiny stuff. My House Hollow from 2020-21 Optic. I kind of like this set a little bit better than the year before, the first year they did it. I just like the borders. I typically like bordered cards a lot. LeBron, Curry. A lot of the same players you see showing up in the same sets. Jimmy Butler is kind of a, a new, different one that we didn't see in uh, any of the previous insert sets. What else we got here? Bam Adebayo. He's another one that doesn't really show up in a lot of these sets. But a lot of guys are the same. We got Donovan Mitchell, Luka, Booker, Harden, Zion, Trey. A lot of these guys show up in a lot of the same insert sets. Kawhi and AD on the end there. And I think the last set we have in this binder is going to be 2020-21 uh, Recon Rookie... What were this called? Rookie Review? Yeah, Rookie Review. And this is the red parallel. It's the only ser uh, serial number set I've ever put together. So you can see there's a LeBron there. The red is serial number to 199. Ooh, almost had a bookend on that one. 198 of 199. I like this set a lot because I'm a big fan of when they kind of do these re uh, retro cards of putting players in their rookie year uniforms. And it was kind of funny going through this, how many guys um, are no longer with the team that drafted them. So we got Derek Rose, who I think actually just retired, if I'm not mistaken. But either way, he's definitely not on the Bulls. Carmelo, definitely not on the Nuggets. Durant, Sonics, no way. But even if it's the Thunder, that still wouldn't be true. Kyrie, nope. AD, nope. Harden, nope. Chris Paul, LeBron, and Jimmy Butler. So, so far, the first page, none of these guys are with the original team that drafted them. You can see how much player movement there is when you look back at this stuff. Same thing, Paul George, uh, Russell Westbrook, Kawhi, Zach Levine, Julius Randle, Brandon Ingram, Blake Griffin, DeMar DeRozan, and Christos Porzingis. Again, 18 guys, none of them are on this team that drafted them in this picture. Uh, we got... John Wall, here's another one. I think the only two in this whole set, we got Giannis and we got Curry on the Bucks and the Warriors. And those guys are obviously still on those teams, but the rest, oh no, we got another one, Lillard, or no. Yeah, Damian Lillard, he's still on the Blazers. So we got three guys, three in a row that are all still with their original teams. Gordon Hayward, Kyle Lowry, and Kemba Walker. And that's gonna do it for binder number one. Uh, there's only, those are kind of most of the sets. We got a few more in binder number two. And then as we get to the end, I'll show off some of the uh, bigger, bigger sets that aren't in binders and then uh, a couple sets that I'm still working on. Uh, so when we get to those, if anybody has any cards in these sets that they uh, want to get rid of, let me know. <laughs> All right, binder number two is going to start off with Gallery of Heroes from Topps Gallery. I think it's 1999, uh, 2000 Topps Gallery. Um, I put this set together when I was putting together another set that you'll see in just a second. Um, but I really like, and I'll actually pull one of these out. They're, they don't look that great in the binder. Um, but here's the Alonzo Morning, which I actually had in my PC before I even started putting these together. Really cool card. It's like the acetate, kind of looks like a stained glass sort of thing. Uh, and it's die cut as well up here with the shape of the ball. So really, really fun cool set. It's only a 10 card set. So we got the first nine guys uh, on this page over here. So from 99, you can think of who was popular then, KG, Marbury. We got Kobe. He was by far the far and away the most expensive card in this set. Vince Carter, Tim Duncan, Gary Payton, Antoine Walker, Weber, Morning, and then all by himself on the last page is Carl Malone, card number 10 in the set. Now, here's a set that I have not finished yet, but I'm getting closer. Stained Glass from 2020-21 Mosaic. We got AD, KD, Curry, Giannis, Ja, Kawhi, Harden. Uh, missing spots here for, I forget who's number one in the set and who's number nine, but one is Luka and one's LeBron. Might be LeBron, Luka, or Luka, LeBron. But those are the only two I'm still missing in this set. And again, this is a 10-card set. So on the very end, we got Zion by himself on the back page. And we already saw the 2020-21 uh, slam. And here's a 21-22 slam. Same kind of idea. Got all the hollows again. Larry John. I like the old school ones too. Larry Johnson, Shaq, another AI. Gary Payton kid. Kenyon Martin. Surprised he made the set. 
Ray Allen, Dwayne Wade, there's the LeBron with the king. I think they kind of made that look like a, a playing card. Clay, I love this Clay photo. Kind of just lounging. <laughs> Tatum, D'Angelo Russell, Donovan Mitchell, Booker, another Curry. We got Derrick Rose, CP3, Kyrie. And then the last two, we got Luka and LaMelo over there. And now, since we got two years of that set, we also got two years of this set. Uh, this is from 21-22 Elite. This is a Spellbound set again. The cool thing with this and the other one is they used... For some people in the previous set, if they used like their last name or their first name, they would use the opposite one for this. So like the 20, uh, 20, 20, 21 set had James and this one has LeBron. So you can kind of spell out the full name. Giannis wasn't in the previous year, but he was in 1920 and I think it was his last name. So if I wanted to ever make Giannis his full name, I have to go back and get the uh, 1920 spellbound. Ja, so again, you saw that he only had two letters in the last year's set and we got his last name in here, Morant. Same thing, Curry was his last name the previous year. And now we got the first name, same thing with Zion. It was his first name in the previous year. And Zion is huge. You can see he takes up more than an entire page by himself because his name was so long. And the cool thing about this set is these are, these are much more plentiful. Um, Elite was not as short printed as it was the previous two years. So there's a lot more of these Spellbounds from 21, 22. So when you're looking at pricing of Spellbounds, 1920 and 2021 are all gonna be um, a lot more expensive and 2122 is gonna be a little bit cheaper just because there's so many more of these and there's a last player in that spellbound sack Chris Paul um, another set I'm kind of thinking of trying for is uh, Netmarvel just because I've opened up a bunch of Donruss hobbies so far this year and I still have a lot more to open so I figured while I'm still opening it I might as well try and put this uh, year's Netmarvel set together I like the design a lot I think it's I think the first year was really good the second year not as much but this one is, I think, almost as good as the first year. Um, and again, these aren't too expensive either. So if I, once I'm done opening all my Donruss, if I need to uh, buy a couple, it shouldn't be a big deal. But we've got Trey and Zion over here, and then, then just a few more. Lamelo, Ant-Man, Ja, Tatum. And that is it for binder number two. So a lot of space left in this binder. Don't know yet which sets I'll be working on to fill that one up. Um, Another set I'm working on that I'll show real quick before I show the last two sets. And if you guys are familiar with the mail days, you've seen these Glass Masters from 2012-13 Elite, uh, Elite Series. Um, can't really fit these in a binder. These cards are way too thick. You can kind of see how thick they are here. In the 100, it's a 130 point top loader actually, but we got uh, a lot of the big names out of the way early, which was nice. So we got Kobe, KD, uh, D. Wade, LeBron, and then some of the other cheaper ones were like Steve Nash, Rookie Rubio, Yao, LaMarcus Aldridge, of all people, Drazen Petrovic, and Kyrie, which is actually uh, his rookie year on the Kyrie. So still need about, I have one more of these, I think, on the way, um, but I think I need about 10, no, yeah, maybe thir 13 or 14 more to go in that set. Um, now the last two sets, save these last two for the end. This one is, is I guess my second favorite. So I'll show this one now. Um, if you, uh, again, on, on Instagram and in previous mail days, I showed a lot of these cards off as these were coming in. These are from, uh, 1996 top stars. It was a special edition set that tops did where they, uh, re -release. they had a new set of all the guys from the top, uh, the NBA 50. So back in 1996, they did uh, the top 50 players of the first 50 years of the NBA. Same thing they did this year with the top 75 in the 75th year. So 25 years prior, they did the same thing with the top 50. They released a new set with new cards, um, with, you know, new cards with old photos of the old players on it. But one of the cool um, inserts they did was in, they were retail boxes with a box topper autograph. They're was called a box topper, but they're still regular size cards, but they would throw in uh, one autograph in these sealed boxes. So in order to get the autograph, you had to buy the sealed box. You couldn't really, they weren't inserted into the packs. There was only one autograph per box. So if you saw these, the boxes already open, chances are whoever opened it <laughs> took the autograph out first, uh, but you can't get these in the actual packs. Um, but these, I couldn't believe how cheap they were when I was buying them. They're reprints of the original rookie cards of all these players. 
with all like nice bold blue Sharpies and all of them. There's Bill Walton. We got George Gervin. This is the only one that's kind of hard to see just because the card is so dark. Um, but he did, he did write um, Iceman. I th it's really hard to see. But I, this is George Gervin. He wrote Iceman on there. Uh, Nate Tiny Archibald. And man, these guys, their signatures, when you look at the signatures of players today, they were just so much better. <laughs> these older guys, Rick Barry, another really nice looking signature. Elvin Hayes, Earl the Pearl Monroe. Uh, and for these, the original set, these were actually tall boys. So these cards were a little bit taller, but for the retro set, uh, the reprints that they were autographed, they um, uh, did some, they kind of shrunk them down to fit like regular cards. Walt Clyde Frazier. Willis Reed, so New York Nick legends here. Sam Jones, he recently passed away. Uh, he had a beautiful signature as well. And George Mike, and this was the only one in the set that really cost a lot of money. Like every single one of these can be found for under 100 bucks easy. A lot of them under 50 bucks. Some of them maybe under like $25, honestly, depending on where you find them. Uh, but George Mike, and since uh, he passed away uh, many years ago, um, he doesn't have as many autos out there as a lot of the other guys. So. This one was definitely by far the most, most expensive in that set. And now this brings us to our final set. Boom. You know what? Let's, uh, I'm going to do this off screen. I'll kind of show these one at a time. But this is our 2013-14 Kaboom set. I just got super lucky with the timing on these, honestly. Um, I really liked the way these looked. Um, I did a lot of research on the set. You know, the guy that designed them, they were all done by a real artist. He kind of drew all the players and I just, that explosion pattern just looks so cool on this card. So I started buying these up in like early to mid 2020 when the, the boom was happening, cards were getting a lot more expensive, but these hadn't really picked up a ton yet. So I was buying these all raw on eBay and they were all, most of them were pretty cheap. I'll talk about the pricing as we get towards the end. Um, and I submitted them all to PSA, but by myself uh, as well. So we got this Rondo that got a PSA 8. Again, bought this raw on eBay for probably, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks, something like that. Same thing with Dwight Howard. This was another cheap one. This also got a PSA 8. Got a lot of eights on these, uh, the first few batches of cards here. John Wall, again, another cheap one. Blake Griffin, these were all cheap when I was buying them. And they've gotten cheaper. I think some of these lower end players aren't as ex nearly as, as expensive as they used to be. Paul Pierce, just big stack of PSA 8s all around. I think we got another one. Russell Westbrook, this one also got an 8. Another 8, Derek Rose. Carmelo Anthony. CP3. All right, finally, we get a little couple more grades better than eights now on these next, I think, on a few of them. Kyrie, we got a PSA 9 on this one. And this is actually, I think this was Kyrie's only second year. Yeah, it's 2012 was his rookie, so 2013 was his second year. This was actually the lowest graded card in the entire set. This one only got a 7. I don't really know why it got such a low grade. I didn't never really saw anything super wrong with it. Might have been like a surface issue or something that I just didn't see when I sent it in. But Anthony Davis... James Harden, this one got PSA 9. There's another 8. Russell Westbrook, or not, not Russell Westbrook, Damian Lillard. <laughs> uh, Tim Duncan, Spurs legend. Dirk, this is a nice one that we got a 9 on this. Dirk was a cool one. We got another 9 on this. D Wade. And the last couple here. Kevin Durant, this one got an 8. Um, I probably pay, this is maybe one, these last four in the set are the only ones that I think probably cost me more than $100 when I bought them raw. I probably, this one may have been in the high 80s or 90s or maybe low hundreds when I got it raw on eBay. And these last few were a little more expensive. So we got LeBron. This one got a PSA 8. I think the last PSA 8 that sold was sold somewhere in like the 20... $700 range, somewhere like that. I think I bought this raw on eBay for about 400 bucks. So definitely good, good pickup there. This one, Kobe, 
Mint 9, this was definitely the most expensive one when I bought it raw because he had already passed by that point and his cards were um, skyrocketing <laughs> at that, uh, you know, during like mid 2020 when I got this. Um, I think I paid around 600 bucks between somewhere between 600 and 700. Bought it raw on eBay. Was super happy that this one got a nine. It would have loved getting a 10 on this one. But as you can see on all these other cards, you can see how hard it is to get 10s on a lot of these when you're buying them raw. So we got a PSA nine on the Kobe. And then the last one here in the set, the only PSA 10 we got in the entire set, Steph Curry. So definitely, if I was only gonna get one 10 in the whole set, it was either gonna be the LeBron, the Curry, or the Kobe. So uh, I'm glad the Kobe got a nine and then this one got a 10. Again, I bought this raw on eBay about two years ago for like 130 bucks. So pretty good investment there, I'd have to say. But again, I wasn't necessarily buying these to invest. And I just really liked the way the cards looked. I thought it was a cool set to put together. And there you have it. That's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, doing something a little bit different, showing off all the insert sets. Go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment. Let me, let me know what you think. Which set do you like the best? Which one don't you like? Uh, I'd be happy to hear uh, any, any different kind of opinions you guys can put in the comments. So that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.